Hello everyone, welcome to another Sunday Afternoon Craft. And how are you? That's right, you can say, I'm fine, thank you. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. Alright, so this time I'll sing Hello, How Are You? And you can sing I'm Fine. Alright, are you ready? Let's try. Here we go. Hello, 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 how are you? Good. All right, so this time you can sing Hello, How Are You? And I'll sing I'm Fine. Are you ready? Let's try. Hello. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. All right, very good. All right, let's do it one more time, everyone together. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. All right, very good. So, thanks so much for joining me today. Welcome to my cottage. So today we're going to be making the beetle from the bug dance. A beetle who can boogie. So what you'll need for this craft, you'll need your trusty glue stick. You'll need your scissors and someone old enough to use them. Your crayons and someone young enough to use them. And the template, which you can find at Babylon Kids on Facebook, and this is Sunday Afternoon Craft, episode 21. All right, so let's get started, shall we? All right, so here we have our beetle. Boogie, boogie, boogie like a beetle, can you boogie? Boogie, boogie like a beetle. So beetles are usually brown or black. But I want mine to be a little more colorful. So I'm going to use my black crayon, but I'm going to be very careful. I'm not going to color it all in black. I'm just going to put a little bit of black in each area and then color it in with a different color. <coughs> so I'll start with this part on the back here, and I'm going to just going to color around and around, a few lines, round and around, not color the whole thing. And then, here on the head, I'm going to color up and down, up and down on the cheek, up and down, up and down on the cheek, up and down, up and down, all the way to the nose. All right, and then here on the back, I'll do side to side, side to side, side to side, not coloring the whole thing in, just a few lines in the middle. Okay. And then the same thing on the other side, side to side, side to side. I'm not coloring the whole thing in, lots of room. And then I'll do my legs. And a beetle is an insect, so let's count the legs. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six. All right, there we go. A beetle has six legs. All right. So now I'm going to go with some other colors and color in all that white space around my black. So for the back of the beetle, I'm going to use blue. And as usual, I'm going to go nice and slow around the edges. Slow, 
slow, slow. Just trace the edges. And then I can color the rest of it in around and around and around. Really small little curls just to fill in all that blue. There we go. And maybe a little side to side just to match that black. There we go. And then I'm going to do the other side. And nice and slow around the edges. slow slow around the edges then I can color the rest of it in around and around and around all right there we go nice blue back for my beetle and then I think I'm going to color this next piece I'm going to color that green and slow around the edges just tracing around the edges and a little bit more and then I can just fill it in round and around and around nice and fast there we go alright and then for my beetles face I'm going to use yellow And this one I'm going to be very careful because the eyes are there and I don't want to have yellow eyes. So I'm just going to be very careful, trace around the outside of the eyes and around all those outside edges, slowly, slowly. And the part that's left, I'm going to be pretty slow because this is small coloring. go. Alright. Super. And then next I think I'm going to make my beetles pinchers brown and of course that's going to be very slow because their pinchers are very very small. And around the edges and then I can just fill in that middle part and slowly trace the edges. And then we can fill in the middle bit. There we go. All right. <clears throat> now I think for my beetle's legs, I think I'd like red legs. But of course you can use any color you like. <clears throat> but I want to have a colorful beetle. So. And slow around the edges. And we don't want to color in this part here because we're going to put glue there later. So we'll just color, color, color. Boogie, boogie, boogie like a beetle. Can you boogie, boogie, boogie like a beetle? Slide like a snail or oh, wiggly worm. The beetles dance. It's easy to learn, you just boogie, boogie, boogie like a beetle, can you boogie, boogie, boogie like a beetle. Now let's crawl, crawl like a gra caterpillar, can you crawl, crawl like a caterpillar, butterflies flutter, 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 and the bees they buzz. But I like caterpillars just because I can crawl, crawl like a caterpillar. Can you crawl, crawl like a caterpillar? Now let's hop, hop like a grasshopper. Can you hop, hop like a grasshopper? Ants go marching, march, 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 and the ladybugs fly, 
fly. But I like grasshoppers, this is why I can hop, hop like a grasshopper. Can you hop, hop like a grasshopper? All right, so I think that's all we need to color for now. Once we're done, we can color the bottom side of the beetle, but this is actually the middle of the beetle, so the bottom side of the beetle will actually be over here. Okay, so next, let's cut. Let's get ready to cut. So sit up so we're nice and stable. And of course, we'll keep our hands well out of the way and the scissors pointing away from us. And we'll just line up that first line with the scissors and cut, cut, cut. And there we go. And we can cut out our beetles. Well, the two halves of our beetle. And fingers well out of the way. Fing scissors pointing away. Nice slow cuts because we have to turn the paper. Make sure those scissors are following the line. And we get there. And then we have to turn the paper again. And around. And turn, 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 turn. And we'll just cut it off like that. We'll leave this part in here because it'll be easier to glue later if we leave that on. So now I'm going to keep my fingers far away and I'll do the other side. And we'll cut around. And turn the paper. Stop. Line it up the line. And then squeeze. Turn. Line it up with the line. And then squeeze. Around the corner. Turn the paper, line it up, you can see the line, and then squeeze, and all the way around, and there we go. There's one half of our beetle, all right, and then this piece is a scrap piece of paper, so we'll set that aside to put in our recycling bin later, okay, and then we'll cut out the bottom of our beetle. And we'll cut around. Turn the paper, line it up, and squeeze. Turn, line it up, turn it, line it up, and then squeeze. Always make sure you look before you cut. There we go. Okay, and now we'll do the other side. Cut off this little end here. Okay. Scissors lined up with the line and squeeze around the corner. Our fingers are way over here, well out of the way of the scissors. Okay, and of course these are scraps, so we'll set them aside for recycling later. Okay, so there's our two parts of the beetle, so we'll set those aside for later. And now, we're going to cut this piece. Okay, so first we need to cut along this line. straight line and then we'll cut this one. It's a nice straight line. Line those scissors up. We can use nice big cuts for this. There we go. And line it up. Nice big cuts. Okay. And then our beetle's legs, we'll cut them in half. 
along this line. Now this part is a little bit tricky. Okay, we're going to cut fingers are way away and we're just going to do a slow cut into the leg and then turn the paper and we can cut up and just cut it off okay and then this we can go just cut straight across the legs and then we'll turn our fingers are way out of the way over here and cut until we get there and then turn until you can see the line and then cut okay and then stop and then line up your scissors from this edge and cut until it meets where you got to the leg there just like that okay there's one set of legs Okay, these big long ones, we need those, but these small pieces, those are recycling, so I'll put them away for later. And then we've got our other legs, so a nice slow cut, fingers way out of the way, holding it by the very edge, turn the paper, line it up, and cut. Up. Turn the paper, line it up, and cut. There we go. And then just like the other side, we can cut just along the tops there. And then turn around the corner. And stop. Turn until the scissors are lined up with your line, and then squeeze. And when we get to that line, stop. And then from this side, fingers way out of the way. And cut. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> and those are our legs. So we'll set those aside. Now this is for inside our beetle's body to help those legs dance. So first, We'll cut this piece in half, like this, along this line here. And then, fingers way out of the way, and cut. And then just holding it by the very edge here, we're going to cut. And then turn the paper, line it up, and cut, just until those cuts meet. Go. And then we'll do the same thing here. Cut. And then holding it by the very edge, make this cut. And until those lines meet. There we go. Now I'm just going to line these up to make sure that they match. And you can see there's a little bit of overhang, so I'm going to cut those little pieces off too. Just like that. Snip, snip. And snip, snip. There we go. Okay. And these little pieces here, these are recycling. Okay, so now we've got all the pieces of our beetle, and we are ready to boogie. So, <clears throat> first we're going to take these long pieces and fold them lengthwise. So you can line up the short corners here and pinch it and line up the short corners here and pinch it and then you can just run your finger along and line up that line all the way along. There we go. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay. So we take our corners and put them together and then pinch it down at the fold and put our corners together and pinch it at the fold and then we can run our fingers all the way along and finish that fold just like that.
Okay. And now it's time to get our trusty glue. And we'll put a little bit of glue on the edge of the legs here. side this will get this will get to be sticky business all right and then there's a long side and a short side so the short side should be facing up and we'll line up that short side here with our fold and then we're just going to sandwich it in there and close it up just like that and we'll set that aside to dry and now we'll do the same on the other side one just like I did the other one and I can even set it beside this one take a look make sure that it lines up yeah that's perfect so open this up and line it up and sandwich it in there close it up Hold. There we go. We've got our two beetle legs for boogieing. Boogie, 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 boogie. All right. Just put the lid on the glue for a minute here while we get ready for the next bit. Okay. So, with these shapes that look kind of like a U, we're going to take this big rectangle at the bottom and fold it in half. Just like this. big rectangle. We can line up that line in the middle and if it looks good then we can push down and crease it. There we go. Okay. Now we want to put one side of our beetle's legs in here just in the middle like this. Okay? And Put some glue on the top flap here and on the bottom flap here. But be sure you don't get glue on those on the beetle's legs because then our beetle will be stuck and he won't be able to boogie. And just fold that over. And fold that over. Okay, and then if we've done it right, there we go. So if it's a little bit stuck, just pull it and it should work. And there you go, you've got uh, legs, the legs that can move up and down. All right. And now let's do the other side here. Put the legs in the middle. And then just a little bit of glue on this tab. A little bit of glue on this tab. Careful not to stick our beetle's legs. Fold over that tab and fold this tab over. Yes. Okay, and then we'll just make sure it's not stuck. And there we go. Those legs can boogie too. Alright. So now we want to find the bottom of our beetle. Okay. And just going to put glue not on the legs over here just on this edge here okay on the back side so the color side is going to be the other side all right turn it over and i'm going to put it as low to the bottom as i can so and just in the middle like that okay little bit more to the middle because I've got some overhanging paper there. There we go. That's good. 
Okay. And then the other side, I'm going to turn the color side down. And just along this edge, careful not to get those legs. Whoops. Got too much glue here. What? up at the bottom, as close to the bottom as I can go, and it should just line up with that other one, really. Alright, there we go. Okay, so next, I'm just going to put one strip of glue, one little stroke of glue, up the middle of these of these things. I don't want to get it on my beetle's legs and I'm going to do the beetle's head to make sure that there's plenty of glue up there. Okay, and that. And we just put the top down here and push the glue down. Make sure the head's stuck down nicely. And there we go. We can boogie, boogie. Boogie like a beetle, can you boogie, boogie, boogie like a beetle. Alright, and there we go, we have our beetle that can boogie. Boogie like a beetle. So thanks very much for joining me today, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. I can say goodbye, you can say goodbye. I can say goodbye to you, you can say goodbye to me, goodbye, goodbye to you. I can say goodbye, you can say goodbye, I can say goodbye to you, you can say goodbye to me, goodbye, goodbye to you. I can say goodbye, goodbye, you can say goodbye, goodbye, I can say goodbye to you, goodbye. You can say goodbye to me, goodbye, goodbye to you, bye.